Hey everyone, it's Brittany Clues. I'm here with the week one photography critique. We're looking at Miss Erin's images. Erin and I actually met each other in um, Vegas when um, I was co-hosting the seniorology um, shootout with Leslie Kerrigan. So it's pretty awesome that she's taking this class now. So let's get into it. Here is some of the stuff that she is shooting with. She's got a Canon 5D Mark III. She's shooting this image right here with a 70 to 200 lens. She's on aperture 2.8, ISO 200, 1 over 500 shutter speed, manual focus, and raw Kelvin. Amazing information. Love it. Um, I'm a Nikon, but that's a great camera that you have right there. 70 to 200 lens is amazing. I'm sure you have biceps of steel for being able to lift that puppy. 2.8, I think, for this shot is a great aperture. Since you've got only one person there, it would be, like, cool to just play around with, um, you know, opening that aperture up a little bit, you know, maybe 2.2, 2.5, and just really increasing that sharpness on your subject and, and letting everything else in the background blow out a little bit. Um... 200 is a great ISO. Obviously, you're not going to have a lot of noise in that. But also, don't um, don't worry about upping your ISO a little bit if you need to. That's one thing that I feel like I come across a lot that people are very hesitant to increase their ISO. And, you know, when you've got a camera that's like a Mark III, you can pop that ISO up to, you know, 400, even 640 when you need to. And, yeah, you are going to have some noise, but with an easy noiseware removal program, like Noiseware, that's the one that I use, um, it, I, I feel like I can get rid of it. And so, you know, if you're in a light situation where you need to bump your ISO, don't be afraid to do it. Um, so, anyways, I love this image. I love the relaxedness of it. I love, again, very genuine, very natural. That's something I talk about a lot is really trying to capture those authentic, genuine, natural moments, whether it's a kid, a family, a teen. People don't want to look forced. They don't want to look posed. Even if it took you five minutes to get her into this pose, the fact that she doesn't look it makes the whole photo. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um... Just a couple, okay, and so obviously this is the straight of the camera below. A um, little dark, a little underexposed. I think there's two things you could have done here. Number one, pop your ISO. You could have thrown that ISO up to about 400 and been fine. You also could have opened up your aperture a little bit, maybe 2.2, maybe 2.5. That's going to create a lot more brightness. However, whatever you've done in post-processing really has lightened her up a lot in a very natural way, so I think you did a good job just um, showing you some tricks that you could do maybe in camera to fix it. Um, again, I love the simplicity of this. A couple quick things. Anytime I'm shooting against something that has a lot like, um, you know, lines already in it, like a fence or, um, you know, like this, whatever, maybe this is the side of a house or something. I always will crop my image and line my edges up with the line of whatever's in the background. That's going to give you a really polished, symmetrical look. So um, that would be one thing I would do. Also, I, it's probably just a quick shot maybe that you took this, but um, I think that this photo would have looked a lot more complete if I could have seen the relaxed pose that was going on with her feet. I feel like you know, I don't know, maybe she's barefoot, her legs are kind of crisscrossed over each other. Um, she's got this arm just really hanging really gently. Um, I love it. I just wish I could see a little bit more. So if I can't see a little bit more down here, it looks a little strange to have this much negative space. So I would just even out these lines with the back and I would crop in right around her. So she's still off to the this side, maybe push off the right hand side a little bit, but it's just a little tighter in on her. So those would be my suggestions for that image. So here's this one, and thank you, thank you, thank you for putting your your um, questions and everything in a format like this. It just really helps me be able to answer really specific questions for you guys, so I can obviously give my own critique on it, but also make sure that anything you guys have very specific questions on, I'm getting. So um, same camera, same lens, pretty much all the same, same setting. So what she loves about this image is the way that the eyes pop and the color of the skin. What she dislikes or has a question about is she's not a huge fan of how the back is blown out. Sun was behind us and we were in open shade, but it was very bright, bright and reflecting off a water fountain. Um, should I have placed her differently to avoid the blown out look behind? So let's talk about your straight out of the camera. You're a little dark here, and so uh, again, just a couple things. You can increase your ISO, you can overexpose by metering, or you can open up your um, aperture. Those are three easy in-camera things that you can do um, to fix that in-camera. Now, however, that being said, whatever you've done to lighten her skin here, 
is beautiful. Again, it's it's processed in a very natural way. I don't feel like it's Photoshopped. Sometimes it, light, lightning skin is one thing that can very, very really quickly get astray. So I think you've done a very natural, pretty job here of lightening her skin. You're right, her eyes pop out. Very striking image. I love the way you've cropped it. Um, I like the way that the back is blown out. Um, I'm always looking for balance in my lights, and my mid-tones, my shadows. And if you look at this, you've got a lot of shadows on the bottom. She's wearing black, dark. She's got dark hair. So I think that provides a really nice contrast. So the only other thing I would have taken out is whatever this is, if this is the fountain you're talking about. Since you have all this like crazy bokeh fun stuff, I would have just come in and just cloned all of that out and you would have just had some just beautiful creamy um, background in the back and again all the focus is still on her but this is a beautiful shot be very proud of that shot image three here we go um, again awesome girl I think this is the added on bottom this time and this is the straight out of the camera um, you just love this image I love it what do you dislike about this image or have a question about Feel like it's boring, needs a little something, haze, black, white, vintage suggestions, any other questions? Am I way off, or is there something cool about this image? I love it. Well, you know what? That is the cool thing about artist interpretation, that sometimes there's just those images that strike you. So don't, I guess, look necessarily, I mean, I appreciate that you're asking my opinion and everything, but, um, you know, if you love this image, then bam, stop right there. Love the image. I mean, you've got a Gorgeous girl, super natural, awesome background, awesome field. What's not to love about it? So, yeah, I think it's really cool. You've also got interesting perspective here with her sort of deep in um, all this nature. And then you've got the tree and everything above. Super, super cool. Um, now, the only thing I'm going to say that I don't love, and, I'm, and I try to be very, very honest, but um, hopefully in a really constructive way. The edit that got you from this to this, and let me first talk about this. This is straight out of camera. This looks a little blue. I would have probably tried to add a little bit of amber to this in camera. With Canon, you're going to have to go find your color histogram, and then it's, it'll look like a quadrant, and you would basically add a little amber, yellow, and that's going to offset some of this blue that I'm seeing. See the blue in her, in her hair? Um, so you could have warmed that up uh, that way. But anyways, let's talk about the edit. Um, I love the exposure. I love her expression. I love the background. I really like the tall vertical focus. So I think you've nailed that. I don't love this edit as much. And the reason why I don't is it doesn't look as polished to me as this. You going from this to this, this looks creamy, clear, um, nice sharpen, nice defog, nice color saturation, nice balance. Like everything looks really pretty. This looks a little um, harsh. It looks a little contrasty. I feel like her skin got a little too yellow. Um, so I actually, quite honestly, if I'm going to compare the both, I like the straight out of the camera, I think, a little bit better if that was warmed up a little bit. So um, maybe work on the editing, I think, for this one just a little bit to make it look a little bit more natural because clearly you've got post-processing skills because you you did this, and this is beautiful. I don't think that this necessarily matches the other caliber, and that's really important about being a photographer too is that um, I feel like clients, like when they're booking me, they're booking me to know that I can basically replicate on their photos exactly what they see on my website. Well, I'm only going to put the best of my best on the website, and so if I had something like this, on my website this kind of edit and then maybe I got an edit that looked closer to this I could be kind of disappointed because yeah but obviously you you've got the the talent to do it. I just feel like something was missing in this little bit but it's a gorgeous shot I think it just needs more fine-tuned editing so I hope that helps and I can't wait to see what you have for me next week thanks so much